Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to be giving you my top 20 products at Sephora right now. This is in preparation for the spring savings event. If you don't know, Sephora does a sale two times a year. They do one in the springtime, they do one in the fall time. And I believe when I'm posting this video, the sale will be starting the next day. So on the 14th of April, that will be for Rouge. You get 20% off if you're that tier. And then if you're a VIB or an insider on the 18th, the sale will start for you guys. And that is 10% off. And I wanted to share with you guys just a quick <laughs> top 20 products from Sephora. I really wanted this to be a snapshot of what I'm loving right now. I have some new favorites. I have some old favorites. I really just went through my collection, picked my top favorite products, things that I would recommend to family and friends and really anyone asking me what they should pick up or what's good at Sephora right now. This is my top. So I hope you guys will enjoy the video. Um, I will say at the beginning here, I will be doing a top 10 fragrances over on my fragrance channel. So if you're interested in perfumes and maybe want to splurge on something, I would go check that video out it should be up the same day this video goes up if it's not up yet like subscribe over there if you want but that video will be coming if it's not up when you see this video I really feel like that 10% or 20% off depending on what you get as a discount can go further because usually perfumes are more expensive so you really see that in the savings but let's just get into the products these are almost all makeup except for one and I'm gonna start off with that one because I'm not gonna lie like I'm here to influence you I didn't pick these products lightly I don't recommend things lightly okay if I'm gonna do a whole video like like this it means that I really love these products and I'm pretty damn confident that you will too if you know me describing them sounds like something you would like or if you were already looking at these products I hope to be the thing that pushes you over the edge and I hope that you love them as much as me so that being said I'm driving this baby home if there's one thing you pick up I don't care I really don't care if you're not a body scrub girl okay because I wasn't when I bought this the first time but if there's one product I hope to influence you to try and hopefully absolutely love it's the way body scrub this can also be used for the scalp and I just have the original here What I truly recommend is the st. Bart's one which is now permanent. Thank goodness. They brought it back It was limited edition initially, but the scent on that one is a little more tropical. It's just beautiful, but still luxe smelling Okay, this is definitely a treat yourself moment. This is not a cheap scrub This is very expensive, but you feel the luxury. I've tried a lot of scrubs since this guy Okay, I've tried so many scrubs and honestly it was because I knew this was so expensive and I was like wow There are good scrubs out there. Wow I really love the experience of scrubbing my body in the shower. Let me try to find some products that are cheaper. And there are some really great scrubs at the drugstore. There are some good cheaper scrubs out there, but nothing compares to this. This is just so unique. So this is like a flaky sugar scrub suspended in almost like a, a thick gel, but there are a lot of scrubbing particles in here. You really get a nice scrub going, but as this mixes with the water, as you, you know, continue to scrub your whole body with this, it really lathers up. It almost becomes soapy and like its own shower gel. And what I think is really great about this scrub is when you rinse it off, you feel truly moisturized. Like your skin feels so soft. Even my husband will be like, you feel so soft. I'm like, yeah, it's a scrub, I'm telling you. But you are not oily, okay? You're not <laughs> oily, which I don't really love the like residual feeling of oils on my skin after getting out of the shower. It's not really what I'm going for, but this just comes, scrubs all the dead skin away, leaves you soft, leaves you supple. It's just beautiful. And I feel like the sale is a great time to try this scrub out, save a little bit of money, experience the magic really get to know yourself in the shower I'm telling you the shower is a magical time to really rejuvenate yourself get yourself ready for the day have some alone time you know you're in there thinking your thoughts planning your day pondering life and I just always feel like I'm taking such great care of myself with this scrub it always feels so great I really highly recommend it you guys okay I know I've been mentioning it a lot in my videos recently but I think this will be the last time at least for a while that I mentioned that scrub on the channel so I wanted to put it in first I really really highly 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 recommend and that scrub, okay? I really do. All right, from there, I'm gonna move on to some base products, some face products, not counting blush, bronzer, highlighter. That'll be kind of its own section. If you watch my channel, then you already knew this was coming. This is probably my favorite primer. Like, it, it is my favorite primer. The Valentino V Lighter Highlighter Primer is so good, you guys. If you like something that's luminous and dewy for under your makeup, I really think you're gonna like this. What I find so different about this product is that it doesn't leave you dewy and glowy in the actual like formulation of the product in terms of like a stickiness or like a wet look because it's kind of glossy in formula. Instead, the luminosity is coming from the actual like pearly pigments that are in here. And I find that it gives you a soft glow without being too oily, without being too greasy. I don't get oily throughout the day because of this primer. And I feel like a lot of dewy and glowy products, because I do have oily skin, they might look amazing when I first put them on. But throughout the day, 
day. They don't really hold up as well. You know, they start seeping into the pores, seeping into the cracks, seeping into the wrinkles. And it's not always the look that I uh, started off with and also the look that I'm desiring, but I find this one just looks so great. It almost gives me like a mattified, plumped, glowy finish. And I know that seems contradictory, like mattified and glowy, girl, what are you talking about? I know, but I promise that's what this does. It is just really, really good. And again, it is pretty pricey. I honestly kind of side-eyed the Valentino beauty stuff because, you know, with luxury and like designer stuff, it's kind of like, is it good makeup? I don't know. Like, is it just because it's Valentino and it looks pretty? Maybe, but not with this product. It's really good. The actual product is very good. It comes in two different colors. This one is the Rosa color, and then there is more of a bronze color. I'm halfway through my bottle at this point, but the sample is what sold me on this and I was really ready to like try it, laugh at it, like even roast it a little and uh, the joke was on me because I love it and it's amazing. For a foundation, I would say my favorite foundation in my collection at the moment, ugh, I go back and forth a little bit. I have been trying a lot lately, but the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation, this is really great and this is not a new foundation out. I tried this a little bit later in the game and this just looks so beautiful. My skin. It doesn't emphasize my texture, doesn't emphasize my pores. I also, like I said, I'm oily and I don't feel like this makes me more oily throughout the day. I feel like this gives me like a demi matte finish. This finish is definitely not super mattifying and I like that. I know I have oily skin, but I still want my skin to look like skin. I want it to look radiant and healthy. I don't want to be matte and caked out and like dry as a bone. I don't want that, okay? I love that this is a thin consistency so I don't feel it on my skin. Like it doesn't feel heavy. I don't really feel it at all. You get medium coverage from this very easily and this has smaller pumps. Like when you actually pump this product out, the pump is kind of small. So if I'm using a brush, I do one pump for half my face, another pump for the other side of my face, which really equals out to a normal foundation's like one pump. And then if I'm using a sponge, which tends to soak up a little bit more product, I do three pumps. And that's what I did today. I have it on my face. I have a lot of these products. So I'll try to mention them as I go, but this is just a great foundation. If you're looking for a foundation, it's pretty expensive and it'd be great to get it on a discount. Last for base and like face products before we get into some colorful cosmetics. This is from Super Goop and it's out. <laughs> this is done. I just purchased this, but I have been using this like a fiend. So this is a very special application in my makeup routine. I don't wear this under makeup. I really wear this alone. And this is the Super Goop Glow Screen. I have mine in the shade Sunrise. This is like a tinted glowy sunscreen. So it has a little bit of coverage. It has the that nice sheen to it. And specifically, I like to use this when I go on my walks in the morning. And really anytime I'm going outside, I don't wanna put a full face of foundation on, but I do wanna look like a little bit more evened out. I do have a lot of redness in my skin and I wanna have that radiance. Like this definitely has a glow to it, but this mixed with the pigment that's in here. And obviously I want the sun care benefits of the sunscreen just works so perfectly. I feel just like so put together, toned, tanned, ready to go on my walk and like get my hot girl walk on. You know what I'm saying? Like. I just feel like I am ready to start a vlog channel. Like seriously, I'm ready to show you my morning routine. I'm ready to show you my night routine. Like that's what this makes me feel like. I feel like that girl, okay? And in the best way, in a good way, in a productive, non-toxic way, in the best way, seriously. I've tried recreating this with other products in my collection, like taking a sunscreen and then taking other glowy tinted type products. And I've come close to creating the magic of this, but mm, it doesn't quite compare to this. So um, I definitely think I'm gonna pick this up during the sale myself in the full size. But like I said, I don't don't like layering this with foundation personally. I just don't get the really nice skin like look when I'm layering this. On its own, it looks fine and great. And especially for kind of the more limited time, like I will then take a shower or, you know, get ready for the day. And this isn't really on my face anymore. The times that I have layered this with other makeup products, I just feel like my skin feels a little heavy. And I just, you know, in the crevices, like around my nose, I have like a space on my chin that I feel like kind of collects product. Unfortunately, this tends to kind of collect there, especially when I layer stuff on top. So I don't love that, but I have worn this just with a little mascara, a little uh, brow product, and then I'll powder it a little and I'll go out like that and I definitely feel put together, you know, but it's so fast, so easy. This would be a great glowy vacation type product where maybe you're doing a lot of beach stuff. Like this would be so perfect for that where you have that glow, you have a little bit of tint, you have the sun coverage, but you don't have a full face of makeup on. Maybe you don't want to put a full face of makeup on. It's like perfect. Um, So I love this. I really do. And I want to find something that's similar to it cheaper, but I haven't so far. And I've been trying a lot of sunscreens lately. <laughs> All right, now we are on to bronzers, blushes, highlighters. I have one bronzer to talk about. I 
love a lot of cream bronzers. I really do. I like a lot of powder bronzers, but the one, if I had to recommend one, this is the one, you guys. This is just so simple, so easy, and it gives you that luxe look. It looks like a celebrity makeup artist did your makeup. Like you are the celebrity client, they did your makeup, and you're like, how can you make bronzer look like that? I feel like that's the effect that this NARS Laguna cream bronzer gives, okay? It is beautiful. I bought this last year. I'm so close to hitting pan, but this is just, again, the simplest, easiest way to bronze. I have it in the lightest shade. It has like five shades though. And this is a cream, but I find that it's almost like a soft powdered matte cream, but so easy to blend. Some powder matte creams, like, I don't know, they don't blend as easy as I want. This one, it's like airbrushing. It's so fast, so easy. Like, I really feel like unless you get like a totally wrong shade for you. It's, you can't mess it up. Like you really cannot mess it up. It's simple, it's easy. It's a true bronzer though. This isn't like a contour, but I feel like it gives me that perfect dimension for my skin. It's not too warm. I just look sun-kissed. I look toned. I just look radiant. I love this bronzer. Again, I feel like it gives such a luxe look and I, I love a cream. And this matte one, again, because it kind of dries down a little to a powder and to a matte, I don't find myself getting oily. It works for my oily skin. I will say that this does have have a smell to it. So if you really don't like perfumed products, I'm not sure if you'd notice it because it took me a while to notice, but it's like a beachy kind of coconutty floral scent. It's it's still light, don't get me wrong, but I thought I would just mention it. I love that because it just feels like summer and I'm like so for it. But definitely check this out if you're looking for a cream bronzer. This is the one I suggest. I like the Tower 28 one. I love the Charlotte Tilbury one. Trust me, I like a lot of others, but this one is the one where I'm like, I don't want my makeup to look fucked up. I want it to look great today. I'm gonna go for that. It's for the days you don't wanna risk it. <laughs> it's for the days you don't wanna risk it. Now let's talk about some blushes. I just did a whole cream blush video, so I highly suggest checking that out if you're specifically looking for my favorite cream blushes because most of the cream blushes I mentioned in that video actually aren't available at Sephora. They're available other places. They aren't brand sold at Sephora, and I really love all of those. Obviously, I made a whole video about it, so check that out. But one of my favorite cream blushes is the Tower 28. I think this is such a great formula. It's like a thick cream, so it really does stay on. It has has nice pigmentation. It's not overly pigmented, so it's like easy to use still. It leaves a glow from the actual formula, a little bit of like a glossy dew look, but because it's a little bit thicker, I don't find that this makes me like more oily, but it does give me a nice, really beautiful sheen. So love this. I know a lot of people talk about it. It's like a highly raved about, you know, one of the hero products from Tower 28, but I really do love it. Every time I use it, it just works with my coloring so well, specifically this is color Magic Hour and every time I use it, I'm like, damn, that looks so good. Every single time. I love putting this a little bit on the nose as well. It just gives me a little bit of that like, you know, sun-kissed look. It really is such a solid blush and it's one of the more affordable blushes at Sephora. I believe this is right at $20. So if you can save even more money on it, awesome. The other like cream blushes I'm going to mention, these are technically the liquids, but the new Pillow Talk Matte Beauty ones from Charlotte Tilbury, I do like them a lot. I think they're really great. And again, the sale saving a little bit of money. If these are on your wish list or you know you were kind of looking at them, I think it might be a good pickup. I will say surprisingly, I really love the Pink Pop blush. This actually has a little bit more of a peachy tone to it. It's not like a straight up cool tone pink. It's more warm, but this gives me just that tiny pop of color without being too much. I like using this actually the most after I've done my makeup and I just want that tiny bit more blush because that's usually what happens. <laughs> I'll like do a lot of blush and then keep doing the rest of my face and then it turns into not a lot of blush anymore. And then I'll usually top it off with something and I find that this works great for that, especially too with the applicator. It's just so easy to dot on and then blend out with a brush. I find that these like beautiful beauty wands. I know there are like countless like dupes out there. I haven't tried a ton of them, but the ones I have tried still don't quite capture the magic. And I know no one wants me to say that. I know everyone wants me to say that they're dupes and they're the same, but I don't know if I'm being honest. I just don't know if I agree with that. The Charlotte Tilbury formula does have something about it that is it's just so easy to blend out. Again, it gives you that effortless look. And sometimes that's the difference. You know, if you don't have maybe all the technical skills, you're still working on those. I think these are going to be really easy to use and give you a beautiful look. Um, these are matte, but they're more of just like a cream without a super shimmer in them. They don't look chalky or dry. It's not that kind of matte. It's really more like a skin, you know, demi matte type of finish. They're really beautiful. There's a peach color. There's a red color that also looks stunning. So um, yeah, I really do suggest these. And last for blush, I did want to mention a powder blush and it was hard going through my collection, but something I've been using consistently since I got them, I bought these during Black Friday, actually just from the Huda Beauty website, but these are the Glowish Cheeky Vegan Blush Powder. 
powders and I have two colors here this one is berry juicy this one's sassy saffron and these are really beautiful I feel like I don't know if they're talked about enough and I really wish that they got more hype I like that these aren't just a straight up flat matte kind of formula you guys I like shimmer okay can you tell I really like shimmer even though I have that shine and oil myself I still want the dew and the glow and the sparkle but these are not like shimmery in any way that's going to emphasize texture they're not that shimmery they're just shimmery enough to not be matte and I really like these colors specifically I haven't tried the other ones but these are also my top off blushes so when I've done my look and I just want a little bit more like a pop that really brings a little bit of color like a wash of color these just look so great and they're easy to put on on. They give me pigment, but not too much, especially when I use a little bit of a, a bigger brush with them I also like the way they kind of combine my highlighter with everything kind of going over top all of that They're just really really beautiful and like I said, I've been reaching for these consistently I'll like go into my collection and be like, okay, I need a little more blush I'm just gonna use that because I know how it works I know how it goes on super easy to use and I like layering these with cream blushes because they aren't overly pigmented on their own So they're just a nice combination and those are my blush picks I know there are a lot of hot blushes out there there at the moment and I do like a lot of them. I like the House Labs blush. I'm still trying out those Rare Beauty liquid blushes but these are the ones in my collection that I, I truly love and that I've used enough and know enough to really recommend and think of highly in my collection. Like, you know, if I had to really get rid of a lot, like these are all staying for sure. All right, last for highlighter. I really had to narrow this category down because I'm a highlighter girl, okay? I love highlighter. I don't care if you think it's out of date. I think it's coming back anyway. Like I've worn it all the way through the lull and I'm not gonna to stop it's one of my favorite parts of makeup and so these two to be honest I feel like they're very similar so don't tell me to tell you which one's better like I just like both of them okay and I feel like they're gonna give you a similar look so if you're shopping you know go in store swatch them maybe color differences will be the thing that makes the difference for you but I love both these formulas so much so first let's talk about the Pat McGrath highlighter these came out last year I think there are only three shades I have the lightest one and you can see the use okay like I use this I love this highlighter my favorite way to use this one specifically is with a fan brush and very lightly because this is a little bit icy for me. My perfect highlighter is something that has a champagne kind of base to it, something that's basically my skin tone with a shine. So that way it just seamlessly blends into my skin and only when I turn is it really gonna shine. Like that's ideal, but this is the one that works best for my skin tone from the range. And so it is a little bit more icy than I usually go for, but when I use it really lightly like that, the base of that white doesn't transfer at all. It just looks stunning. The pearls that are in here, whatever is going Going on the shine it's soft yet impactful so it doesn't make you look super shiny metallic tin man like it's not going space age on you but it's also not subtle it's also not like hiding like it's there and I love that so I really do love this I also like using it on my brow bone and my inner corner I use highlighters a lot that way where I'll kind of use it to highlight lots of points on my face instead of just one so I would definitely check this one out formula just so nice soft again but still impactful and not like too natural similarly I feel like you get a nice luxe look from the the Bobbi Brown highlighting powders. I just have two here in the single form to show you, but I also have this highlighter in duos that have been like limited edition and it's a highlighter formula I look out for. Like I just, I really love Bobbi Brown products in general. I find them to just be that perfect mix of like more natural or neutral, but still glam, still really luxe, high-end feeling like yeah, I just, I get such a great look with them. This one is Pink Glow. I think this one is the newest one called Quartz Glow, and I like both of them. I do find the formula slightly different on them. Pink Glow tends to have a little bit more shimmer particles in here. Like I wouldn't quite call it glittery, but it's also like not, not glittery, you know what I mean? <laughs> Which I am especially loving right now. So love this one. And then Quartz Glow I find just doesn't have a glitteriness. Like I would not describe this as having any glitter. It's more like the Pat McGrath to me, but this one has a soft gold in here, like a soft warmth to it so it's not icy and I really like that about it this is what's on my brow bone today I love finishing my brow bone with this I mean I love it on my face as well and I just don't think you're gonna go wrong with these I just love them they feel more like baked type formulas I don't know if the Pat McGrath one is but I believe these are baked and I just love it it's beautiful all right we're moving on to eyes this video is gonna be so long I really thought I'd like keep it quick and snappy and that is not true that is false I have lots of eyeshadows to show you I'm gonna start off with the creams because I am just loving cream shadows right now so I have an old fave and a new fave to show you guys. So first, I'm gonna shout out the KVD Dazzle Sticks, okay? These came out in 2021, I wanna say. They sold out, then they weren't there, like it was hard to get, and then they finally brought them back. Not all the colors came back, but my two favorites did, and these are the two that I suggest from the line. The other ones are fine, like if you love them, great, but if you're just buying online, you haven't seen them, these are the two I suggest, and I'll try to describe them in detail. 
So first, this is Flash Storm. It is a beautiful, more cool toned, kind of mauve-y, purpley gray thing going on. But the base on this is warm. So it's like a warm red and it has blue and silver and violet kind of shimmers going on. Oh, it is so pretty. It is like a grungy kind of look. It's really beautiful and I find quite unique also, uh, especially for the shadows that are at Sephora. I just don't think I've seen anything quite like that one. And then the other one is Electro Bolt. So if you're more of like a warm, toned person, you like warmth or bronze. This is a golden color with a red base, but it also has like this lime shimmer going on. It also has a little bit of blue going on. So it's kind of contrasty. These are what I call elevated neutrals. So they have a little bit of a duochrome, a little bit of a flip. They're not boring. These are definitely fun, but they are still neutral. And that's like my perfect combo. These have an interesting formula. They feel kind of wet and cool uh, when you either apply them on your hand, which is what I like to do, or I'll just take it from the top and use my finger and press it on. But you can, if you want like more full opacity, just kind of apply from the tube. I feel like I prefer a little bit more of a sheer wash, but that's kind of my style and everything. But they can go full metallic and then these do dry down as well, which is nice. So if you want something that's really gonna stay and not crease, I think you'll really like these. Definitely check these out if you haven't. The other cream shadows are newer. These are from Colfi. They just launched and I really love these. I talked about this chartreuse one in a video recently. So if you haven't checked that out, you wanna see it in action. Oh, it is beautiful. This color is just stunning. It's so unique. It has a little bit of something duochrome to it, which I feel like gives it just a lot of bend. Like it can look a lot of different ways on a lot of different skin tones. Ooh, it just like is something electric. There's something kind of pulsing through it that I love, especially for summer. It looks great all over the lid. Even if you feel like you can't pull off color, I just said I love neutrals. I'm like raving about neutrals, but I do like color. I just like it in a little bit more simple ways. This is a perfect simple way to just get a wash of color all over your lid and makes color a little bit more approachable. So I really highly suggest that one. But in general, this formula is just really nice. It's more of like a whipped mousse kind of consistency. Um, this one is more of like a satin. So it doesn't have like tons of sparkle in it. But the other shades that I have do have more of that like sparkly, almost glittery texture to them. These cream shadows also lock down into place. So you're not going to have any budging. You definitely have time to play though and get them in place and blend them out. Like I easily blend these out with my finger. But once they lock down, they don't crease on me, which is so great if you want something really long lasting. I really don't think you're gonna go wrong with these. The one that I'm wearing today is Bronze Brocade. I did a little bit more of a base. I'll talk about that in a second, but then I went in with this as my main bronze color and it just looked amazing. So simple, so easy to blend out. It didn't look thick and cakey on my lids. It really thins out nicely while still having coverage and not going patchy. So I just, I think they're really great cream product. If you're looking for something like that, I think you'll really love them. Okay, that's everything for cream eyeshadows. I now have three different powder eyeshadow uh, options for you. So first, I have to mention the Moon Dash Shadows from Urban Decay. These are just so good. There's five different colors. I have all five of them. The Moon Dust formula is a really beautiful, sheer, sparkly, like super sparkly, super glittery shadow. It's nice and lightweight though. It's really easy to apply and kind of like dust or press onto wherever you want. And I really love the color selection that they have. Again, these are like those elevated neutrals. So there's lithium. It's like a grayed out bronze color with silver sparkle in it. So it definitely has a cool kind of leaning but because the base on it has a little bit of warmth, a little bit of bronze to it too, it's really beautiful for a grungy eye, at least on my skin tone. I absolutely love that. For something a little bit more wearable, Space Cowboy just looks great for a single shadow look, a little bit of shine, a little bit of sparkle on the lids, not too much. These give kind of that wet shine look because of the way that the sparkle is in them. This one has a little bit of a base on it, but then again, that cool shimmer on top and it's stunning. If you're looking for something a little bit more fun and duochrome, Solstice is the way to go. This has a red base with like a teal kind of turquoise blue shine on it. Really, really stunning. I still love Glitter Rock, but it's probably my least favorite out of all of them, to be honest. This is like a fuchsia purple kind of maroon-ish color. Like the sparkles kind of shift different things, but it has a little bit more of a grayed out base to it. And then last, Cosmic. This one's really versatile. If you don't know which one to go with, but you just want a little bit of sparkle, I think this is a good option. I like using this not only just to top over any eye look to add a little bit of sparkle, but in a transparent way, because it's just kind of that white 
white shimmery fairy dust essentially. Um, I love using this as a highlighter as well. I love a sparkly glittery highlighter like I mentioned. So this one looks really, really good. Just tapped over. That's what I've done just on the higher points of my cheek today. I think these products are really great too for festival season coming up. I mean, do people, I've never been to Coachella. I really don't think I'm like a festival girly. Like I love the idea. I want the pictures. I want the online experience, like what it looks like. But the reality of a festival, let's get real, is like dusty, dirty, standing all day, sweating all day, sunburned, dehydrated, makeup melting off your face. Like that's re that's what's actually happening at Coachella, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you want to do festival like makeup though, or you're going to a festival and want something that can be really good Also the glitter puck from half magic is really good if you want some sparkles just saying okay It's not at Sephora, but it's really good. I need to stop going off track or this video will never end All right next eyeshadow recommendation. This is a small little like quad type product. It's not a quad It's a trio, but I'm so excited because Glossier is now at Sephora and their monochromes palette in almond is one of my faves It is so good you guys you have to want a monochromatic moment for sure because this is basically the same eyeshadow and three different finishes. I actually have a short on my channel using this palette and showing you how I like to use it. I mean, it's pretty simple, but in case you're wondering, you wanna see it, check that video out. This has one matte shadow, which I love. I just need one matte. It adds just a little bit of depth. It's very much like an everyday type of palette for me. Although I feel like I can get it smoky enough and kind of full bodied enough, at least for me, for like more nighttime if I wanted to. But then there's like a satiny shade in here and then something that has a little bit more sparkle to it. And I love all the finishes. I use all of them a lot of the time when I I am creating a look with this palette, but I also could use each of them alone if I wanted. And I know that the idea of three colors being the same color, but different finishes seems redundant, but I find this just works and is super wearable for every day. So if you are looking for like your next new everyday palette, definitely check out Almond. There are other colors, but I don't want to speak for all the other colors because I tried Jute and I don't personally like that. It was just too light. I didn't feel like it was showing up, but I really like Almond. Teak is a good one too, if you're looking for something more bronzy, but some of the other colors I haven't seen in person and I don't want to speak for so really I'm showing love to almond right now and then last for eyeshadow if you're looking for more of a bargain option uh, and by bargain let's get real I'm just talking about more shadows for your money instead of like singles or just three shadows my favorite bigger palettes at Sephora at the moment I mean I really love my Huda Rose Quartz but I think if I'm like recommending to my friends and family and just thinking of the everyday makeup wear what they're going to be looking for what's being trendy online what you might want to recreate even at home even if it's a little out of your comfort zone I think the major dimension Patrick Ta palettes are going to be what you want. These have a nice range of matte shadows as well as shimmers and the shimmers that are in here are nice and sparkly like I like. So you kind of get the best of both worlds there and I feel like these are also very contemporary sparkles like what's trendy right now. If you want that kind of soft natural glam look that's really popular you're going to be able to get it with this. You can contour and sculpt with the matte shades. They also have some creams though that are in here and if you're experimenting and want to try a cream look out those can be great for bases. They can be great for doing a smoky eye and they have a lot of thought behind them having like a little panel over them so they don't get powder in the cream like we love a thoughtful detail but this is the rose one this is the second one that came out probably my favorite one out of the two personally but if you're looking for something a little bit more neutral like even more neutral than that this is the first one and I also really love this this also has some nice shimmers in it I do prefer the shimmers in the rose one but these are still great and I think that you'll get a lot of use out of this like whether you're just gonna add a little matte powder wing to your look and that's it or you're only gonna do a sparkle like you can do all of that with this palette. I have two more things for eyes. I love these eyeliners so much from Urban Decay. These are classic. These are really raved about, but they're really good. And specifically, I really recommend Mushroom and Smog. They're both shimmers. One is more cool toned and kind of taupey. One is more of like a bronze, but the bronze isn't too warm. So it still adds a nice amount of dimension to my eyes. I want to say though, for some reason, Mushroom's not on Sephora. Like the other day when I was looking for it, I didn't see it at Sephora, but Mushroom is still available and I'm still going to shout it out even if you can't get it at Sephora because I love that color. But even if these colors aren't what you want, I do really just love the shimmer formula specifically and recommend you try a shimmer eyeliner. If you are only using cream matte pencil liners, like those can be great, but try something with a shimmer. It adds a softer amount of dimension to your eyes. It's a little less harsh and I think it's really great for smudging on the lower lash line. I just think it's sexy, a little bit smudged out, a little bit grungy. So I definitely suggest these eyeliners. They're very, very good. Not a new product. Lots of people have talked about them, but they're really that good. They really aren't that good. Last for eyes another hyped up fave from a lot of people and 
I was skeptical, okay? I tried this in the last sale during the fall, I believe. I think it was fall. This is a Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. And again, I was skeptical about this and how it would work. In general, I'm skeptical of a high-end mascara, but this one, I really did like it. I fell in love. This is my second tube of it. This is a plastic bristle wand and it has a little bit of like a curve to it. It's almost like a, a weak banana. <laughs> like it doesn't have a full banana curve to it. And I find it just fits the shape of my eye really well. In the concave part of this, it collects a little bit more product. So a lot of the time I'll work that into the bottom of my lash and then I'll use the other side, which has some longer bristles to really work that through my lashes. I never get clumpy. I also don't find for my everyday life, I'm getting any transfer on my lower lash line, which I love, especially because I don't really super powder under my eyes. I really like that area to stay looking really fresh and skin-like. So it's just a really solid mascara. And this is also right at that $20 mark. So as much as it still is an expensive mascara, it's not, you know, more on the $30 or like even more expensive mascara. So I like that. Oh my gosh, we're on the last three products, the last bit of the lip products. And I kind of have some boring choices, but I really just wanted to give you things that are the things that get the most love out of my collection. I have tons of beautiful lip products that I love to wear in the summer here and there and have a pop and go with a look. But these are the ones you're gonna catch me in most of the time, like more on the everyday, you know, and they go with every look type of products. First, you guys, this liner from Tower 28 is so good. Work of Art is the shade of this one, which specifically just like works so well with my coloring, with my lips, all of it. It looks so good. It gives me enough definition. It's neutral enough. It doesn't pull too warm. It doesn't pull too cool. It doesn't pull too mauve -y. It's just so beautiful. And it really helps me give a bigger, like kind of filled out, full out version of my lips, which I really like, especially on the Cupid's bow. I like to kind of soften that a little bit. And sometimes that can look freaky. Okay, let's get real. Like depending on the color you're using, you can tell that you're overlining your lips or kind of like going out of your lip shape. But this one I feel like helps sell the illusion a lot more. I'm telling you, at least again, on my skin tone, colors relative. So with any lip product, whoever you're watching, keep that in mind, okay? It might be the perfect nude on them, but on you, not if you guys aren't similar in tones. Anyway, there are two other colors in this line as well, but I also just love the formula. It's creamy and soft, but not so soft where it's like kind of a messy. Sometimes if a lip liner is too soft, it's like not giving you the lines you want. It's a little bit harder to work with. It's kind of just that perfect formula. I love that it's in a wood pencil. It's just good, man, solid and good. I think this is like $15, which depending on where you're shopping at the drugstore, sometimes uh, drugstore stuff is getting that high. Last, I have two kind of glossy lip products, lip oils, glossy lips, that whole thing is so popular right now. And if you're looking for something like that, these are the ones I recommend from Sephora. I first off want to mention this gloss from Patrick Ta. This is so beautiful, okay? Like just trust me get this one. This is another one that I really just don't think you're not going to like it. Like, mm, I think you're going to like it. This is the shade She's Expensive. It's like a clear gloss, but it has lots of shimmer in it, but you can't feel it at all. Okay. Let's get real. The Makeup by Mario little like stick things. You can feel the glitter in those. I also tried a Fenty Heat Balm with some glitter in it. I can feel the glitter in them. Okay. This one has that really shimmery look to it without the feeling, which I love. It also doesn't give your lips a metallic look. Like the shimmer in here is not coming together to look metallic and sometimes when something has too much shimmer, that's what kind of happens and I don't really love that look. This just gives you a glassy lip look and then only in the sunlight do you really see the shimmer and they just play and add to the wet look. Oh, it is so good. It has a little bit of a mint to it. So if you hate minty lip products, that might be a deal breaker for you, but I really love it. It's so good. This is like a gloss I will repurchase over and over. It's a gloss that looks just great with the lip liner. Just these two together. Line, fill a little on the corners, add this gloss. Oh, stunning lip look, I'm telling you. Perfect. And then last I have the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Balm. Specifically, I am talking about the vanilla one. They do have other colors. The only color I have tried, I really wanna try the new pink one. There's like two new ones that came out. I think a red one as well. But the one that I've tried in the past is called Vanilla Beige. And I do like this one, I really do. But I do find the formula just slightly different. I don't know if it's something about the tint or what. So as much as I like this product, I think it's really good. I love this product. <laughs> like I love this color. This is nourishing and like a liquid balm type of feel on the lips, but very glossy. I love Love this just like when I'm you know lounging about just at home in the car want a lip balm essentially this feels really nice and comforting but gives you kind of that gloss look and I really like that I especially like it with my skincare like when my skin looks all glossy for my skincare and then I have this glossy product on love that it's just plumping nice hydrating just a really really good product if you're looking for that kind of glossy lip oil lip balm type of look this one's really good it's like a squeeze tube it kind of cups the lips I mean I don't care about that that much but 
but I mean, I guess it applies it nicer, definitely nicer than the Glossier Balm.com. Nothing will scratch your lips up, but anyway, love that. Okay, that's it. This is the end of the video. I've gone on and on. I'd love to know what you recommend down below. I already did a wish list video like a couple weeks ago, like in preparation for the sale. So you might already know what I'm looking for, but I'd love to know what you're thinking about picking up, what you recommend to me. And if you try these things out, like if you buy them during the sale, definitely let me know what you think about them. I'm pretty confident you're gonna love these if you try them out. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.